Welcome back, this is another video where we're talking about how to manipulate and work with text in R. This is the third video in this series, but you don't need to watch the other videos to get value out of this one, but you can watch the other ones. I'll stick a link on the screen. You can click on that and, and watch the other ones in your own time. Right, we're gonna talk about how to extract text a particular part of a string, a string basically is, a, is text in a variable, using the str underscore sub function, string sub function. So it's a subset of your string. It's not difficult to do. Let me show you exactly what we're gonna try and do here. We're gonna take the empty cars data set, and by the way, you have this data set on your computer. Please practice what it is that I'm doing in your own time. Everything that I can do, am doing can be re replicated. We've got our row names over here, and just remember that this isn't a variable, these are just row names are our models of cars in the empty cars data set. We wanna create a table, with the table down below me at the moment, where we've got the models of the cars listed, but we've also created a shortened name in which we've extracted out just the first three letters from the model name, right? So that's what we're trying to accomplish in this lesson. It's not difficult to do. You're gonna love this, stick with me, boom shakalaka. On this YouTube channel, we're creating our programming videos on everything. Okay, so as always, we've loaded the tidyverse. I also always load GT extras if I'm creating tables. That's how I create very nice tables like the one on the screen at the moment. We're not gonna talk much about GT extras, but you can look at the code if you're interested. Okay, let's talk about the empty cars data set and what we need to do here. First of all, we take empty cars, we pipe it into the mutate function. We're creating a new variable called model because remember the model names were all actually row names. That wasn't a variable, so we use row names, empty cars, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Pipe that into a new variable gets created here using mutate. Now you'll notice I've got these little ticks and I've put short name inside them. That's just so that I can have a blank space between the two words, short and name. Okay, you don't have to do that, it's a nice little trick. Use it, don't use it, it's up to you. Okay, that variable, short name, is gonna be equal to, here is the, the new function that we're learning, string sub, it has three arguments. The first argument is what variable does it need to look at, okay, or, or, or vector, but usually we're working in the data set, so what variable are we looking at? And we're looking at the model variable, the one we've just created in the line above. The next two arguments is where to start and where to finish, right? So start at character number one, end at character number three. So we're going to get the first three characters of those names. I'm piping that into, I'm just basically selecting a couple of the variables, model, short name, uh, MPG, cylinders, displacement, just so that we've got a table that we can draw. And then I'm piping that into GT extras, GT open close brackets, creating a table heading, aligning the columns to the left, and using the GT themes 538, which I like very much. Run that code and boom shakalaka, we get the table that you can see beneath me at the moment. Nice and neat, very beautiful. Do this at home. There's a link on the screen right now that you can click on that'll take you to the next video in this series looking at strings. So enjoy that. Otherwise, don't ever change, don't do drugs, always do your best. Speak to you soon, take care, bye.